Hi there, welcome back to my channel. This is Sandy Freshy, Human Design Specialist. Today we are going to continue our conversation about human design and burnout. And today's video is uh, about generators and manifesting generators and how they can burn themselves out. So if you know a burnt out generator or manifesting generator, or if you are one, I hope that this information really helps you to understand how you got to this point. Now, before I begin, I just want to remind you to uh, go ahead and like this video if you find it helpful and share it with anyone that you think would benefit. And if you are not already a subscriber, I invite you to subscribe and to hit the little button to be notified of when I release the next video. So let's move on and talk about how generators and manifesting generators can get burned out. So as you may or may not know, generators and manifesting generators are here to do work that they really love and find satisfying on an ongoing sustainable basis. And when they can get that uh, gut sacral motor under what they're doing, when it really gets their motor going, they can work and work and work. So one of the ways that generators and manifesting generators can get burned out is by really using that work energy towards something that they love and uh, ignoring the response to take a rest and because they're so caught up in the work that is bringing them such satisfaction. So uh, if you generators, manifesting generators, if you love your work, you may need to have someone ask you, is it time to take a rest from time to time to see if your sacral responds with a positive yes or uh-huh, 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 so that you can, that you know that it's time to just take a break. Now, another way, of course, that uh, generators and manifesting generators can get burned out is by um, working at the wrong things or working at things using that work energy when it's not really time to use that work energy. So again, it's really about getting in touch and staying in touch with your sacral response and following that inner guidance as you do your work. If you are stuck in a job that you really hate, if you are stuck in something that drags you down, if you ignored your uh-uh response, uh, when you were hired for a job or when you were looking at a job because you needed to pay the bills and it wasn't really something that was suited for you, you're using your work energy in a way that uh, you're, you're uh, using your work energy in a way that really isn't uh, fortifying you, isn't uplifting you or recharging you because you have this kind of magical thing in your sacral motor that when you do the work that really gets it going and you get the proper rest, uh, you can get up the next day and continue to work at it as long um, as, as your motor continues to go. So, but if you're working at the wrong things, uh, it's really hard to get that motor going. And if you do get it going and you get it and you're using your work energy in that way, it's like you're kind of wasting your energy and it's not feeding you the way that it's meant to feed you. And it's not regenerating you. So that's another way that you can get burned out. Uh, the third way is by initiating um, actions instead of waiting for things to respond to. Again, this is tied into your sacral response. So um, you're always, you, you never have to worry that nothing, that nothing is going to come to you to respond to. There are always things coming to you to respond to. And you use that, you tap into your, your sacral response to get that uh-huh, uh-huh, or that yep and no if you're a manifesting generator. Um, and that guides you toward uh, the the things that are really going to help you regenerate yourself, the, the activities that are going to help you regenerate yourself. So if you're coming at a, an activity or you've started something 
on your own without a suggestion from another person, without some kind of tangible confirmation, then you're going to waste your work energy. And I see this a lot. I actually worked with a client not too long ago uh, who's a generator and she kind of connected the dots for herself in this respect because she realized that um, she had a long history of initiating programs and workshops because she thought they were a great idea and inside they kind of lit her up but then when she went to do the work she would toil and she would work and she would put these programs together and no one would sign up or very few people would and by contrast she had uh, a workshop that was extremely successful and she finally realized that people were actually asking her to teach this on this particular topic and they were asking in a particular area of the country so that was her tangible thing to respond to was uh, people asking her and um, and her tangible thing to do was to to she, what she did was she put out feelers and she got back a whole lot of response because most of them were probably generators and manifesting generators too in this particular area um, that they wanted her to come there and do that workshop now if she had just put it all together packed her bags told people like manifestors do inform people that she was coming out there to do a workshop she probably wouldn't have gotten the same um, great successful response as she did by waiting and making sure there was like solid ground for her to step on and waiting for her um, her work energy or focusing her work energy on those things that uh, she had a tangible confirmation was as to whether that they were correct for her they were good for her to pursue so um that's the main three things that generate the w main three ways that generators and manifesting generators can burn themselves out now manifesting generators you know you have a little bit of extra power behind your sacral motor a lot of times because you have motorized energy that goes straight to your throat so you have that kind of manifesting quality sort of like a manifester except that um, you really uh, have to uh, wait for those things to respond to those tangible things so there's just one little nuance that i want to talk about with you as a manifesting generator and burnout one of the ways that you can uh, burn yourself out is if you you're, you're waiting to respond and you're you know really working with your sacral motor and listening to it and following it one of the ways that you can um, uh, get uh, or burn yourself out is by actually kind of squashing down your power by slowing your energy down and this is because you have all of that energy that moves up to your throat it, it kind of moves fast you're sort of designed to uh, skip steps um, and to discover what steps need to be skipped uh, and when you're sort of wait over waiting or um, when you're sort of uh, swallowing your truth or not really following in the, you know quickly um, using your energy quickly you can squash your power down and it's sort of like the manifester who slows themselves down that energy sort of doubles back on you I don't know any other way to explain that <laughs> it sort of doubles back on you and um, and then it sort of burns out and fries out your circuits so uh, manifesting generators just keep that in mind you you actually do very well with multitasking so if anyone has ever tried to tell you to slow down to do one thing at a time it's actually uh, something that could lead you down the path of burnout because you are meant to get that energy up and out while you're waiting for those things to uh, respond to so um, I hope that helps and I hope you got some insight about uh, manifesting generators and generators and burnout and until the next time be well